Hey, this is Corey from Wolfpack Woodcraft, and this week's book is Field Guide to Freshwater Fish. Now, it's kind of creepy how I came about this because uh, I was talking in the comments section. A lot of people ask me about fishing books, uh, fishing tips. Uh, they want fishing information from me, and I don't have any. Uh, I've only been fishing probably five or six times in my life. I've only caught in probably four fish in total. Uh, but the thing that I learned in my few times is that a lot of people when it comes to fishing it is such a large group of people that are just die hard into it and you kind of have two groups you have like the people that if you don't have a two thousand dollar rod and reel you're not going to catch anything like you might as well not even bother going and you have to have like a half a million dollar fish boat and they're just they spend all this money to catch fish and if you're not going to spend all this money to get the good stuff you're not going to catch anything and then on the flip side you have these other people that are like superstitious right you're like if you spin three times and kiss the back of your left hand and cast into the weeds you're going to get you're going to catch something you know and so uh or if you use this bait with this lure with this bobber then you'll you're guaranteed to catch something you know and they're always trying to find the little hidden tricks on how to catch different fish and none of it works for me okay for me none of it is work uh, I just cast I catch a fish or I don't and that's why I do not go fishing because I don't have the attention span I hate sitting there and just doing nothing hoping something happens right and a lot of the fishing books that I come across either at Walmart or the bookstore it's a lot of the same mentality. It's either like a catalog where they're just trying to sell you the most expensive things they could possibly find, or it's all of these little tips and tricks and techniques that if you do this and if you do that, you know, you'll catch this fish or you'll catch that kind of fish. And yes, it might work. It just doesn't work for me. And also, I also watch like Alone and these like survival channels on YouTube and they're catching fish with paracord and a stick, right? They don't have expensive gear, they don't have fancy equipment, they just have paracord and a stick and they're able to catch fish. And so for me, I don't understand it, so I don't want to purchase books that just for the sake of having them, you know what I mean? But this, on the other hand, I was talking to somebody in the comment section, and I was explaining all that to him, and I said, I wish I could find a book that just taught me about fish. Because if I knew what the fish ate, if I knew the habitat, if I knew everything about the fish, I should be able to reverse engineer how to catch it, right? And I literally was having a conversation in the comment section here on YouTube about that, and then I went over to Amazon to purchase whatever I needed to purchase. There was something around the house. And this book was recommended to me, which is kind of creepy, but I'm kind of glad it was too. Because this field guide to freshwater fish is exactly what I was looking for. It just talks about fish. And so the first few chapters talk about like the anatomy of fish. So you can get a better understanding of what what is what. It talks about like the different kind of scales, the different kind of fins, you know what I mean? And so you, when they're talking about how to identify fish later on in the book, you can, you have all the information you need to understand what it is you're reading. And then it just has each fish. It has a bunch of different fish in here, so like largemouth bass. They have a colored pitcher and then all the information. And so by looking at this, I don't want to read it verbatim to you guys because I don't want a copyright strike, but like if I just read food, so the information that it gives you is other names, which whatever, uh, distribution, habitat, which is something I'm into, identification, size and age, life history and behavior, food and feeding habits, and with this information I can reverse engineer how to catch it. So if I look in here, uh, it looks like they eat golden shiners. So I can go to the bait shop, pick up some shiners. Habitat is uh, frequently in the weedy section of ponds and lakes. So there we go. If I go to the bait shop and I get some shiners and I fish towards the weeds, I should be able to catch some largemouth bass. 
Uh, the other ones, there's lots and lots in here. They're not, so I live in Minnesota. And so a lot of the fish inside this book are not in Minnesota. This isn't a state specific book. But the uh, information, if I were to travel or go somewhere else, I have all the information. And so here we have bluegills. And again, it's the same concept. So bluegills, it has all the same information, but they eat, uh, there's a whole paragraph on their, what they eat, but I'm just going to pick up worms. And so if I pick up some worms and I look at the habitat, uh, they like to, they prefer quiet waters and may hold in extremely shallow areas. So there we go. If I'm fishing offshore, I can get some worms. Shore is usually shallow, so I can catch some bluegills. Uh, I can put some shiners on if I'm fishing from shore. Put some shiners on, go towards the weeds, and I can catch some largemouth bass. And so even like the cathead, the catfish and the bullheads are all in here. Carp, uh, char, chub, crappie, dace. I don't know a lot of these. Gar. It has walleye and uh, northern pike. It also has minnows. So here are the shiners. And so it's not going to tell you how to use the minnows as bait, right? It's not a fishing book. It's a fish book. So it's going to teach you, again, what it eats, the habitat, everything. Uh, fathead minnows are in here as well. And so, again, it's not going to teach you what baits to use, what lures to use, what... It's not a fishing book. But because of the information in here, just like I did with the crappies and the largemouth bass, you can reverse engineer, right? If you can figure out what it is they enjoy eating, uh, the habitat that they live in, uh, their behaviors and how they spawn and how they do different things, you can reverse engineer that into what's going to catch them. You know what I mean? And that's what I was looking for. This book is exactly what I wanted. Uh, it has all the information I would expect a book like this to have. And I really, really like it a lot. So if you are looking for a fish book that has nothing to do with fishing, it's not trying to sell you anything, it's not trying to teach you all these superstitious things or the proper lure and line and reel and rod and techniques and knots and all that mumbo jumbo. If you just want to learn about fish, this is a really great book. So make sure to share this with all of your fish fishing buddies so that they can get a glimpse of how fish actually behave. And I can't wait to see you on my next video.